Ladies and Germans, how are you all doing? This is Khan Ulrich. I'm Ring Rural. Hello, hello. And folks, today we're giving you the final from the SD Normandy 44 Terrible Divisions Tournament. We are on Omaha. If you don't see the beaches, the be well, beachfront property is a little bit further to the north here. But Ring, uh, who's duking it out back in these um, Bocage country back here? On the left hand side in the blue, we have her Robert playing first Jenna. And on the right hand side in red, we have a hairy spider playing Pantalair. This is the third game out of a best of three. And if I have things set up correctly, the person who wins this match has won the tournament. So this is the decided match. And it seems like her Robert is going to try and decide it quickly with this crazy Cromwell push up north. Yeah, but the thing is, against against people like the Panzer Lair, you can kind of get away with this. Sure, you might lose a couple of trucks to, you know, some, you know, very opportunistic. And you can see right now, Stalking Horse throws him one Strelke squad. And other than that, he knows everything else is safe. So now he's just going to send through one by one by one by one. Yeah, this is, that was a really good micro. I mean, the Strelke squad mans to get within 100 meters, so they can have an engagement. It's going to go around the corner while they're distracted and... Yeah, just use that sure I believe, to just snipe the... Or just use the Cromwell, actually, to snipe the half-track. And it's a crazy push, but it's going to work, and it's working lovely. However, Harry Spider's making his own push in the center. Not as crazy, per se, but Rahul Aroba doesn't really have many other units to defend the rest of the map. No, and what I was trying to, I think, trying to get out a little bit before is the fact that if you're looking at a lot of different divisions, one of the divisions you can pull it off consistently against is Panzer Lair. What are they going to bring? Infantry? Ha! Don't make me laugh. There's no infantry in the Panzer Lair. They only have yeah. Lair. They only have Lair. They only have technology. Exactly. Yeah. But you Panzer's can see right now, not, sir, well, please. Included. Yeah, go ahead. I was going to say, but you can see right now, we are seeing half tracks trying to deploy that kind of rather nascent infantry material all across the central position my worry is that we'll see this armored thrust come in behind them that might seize the center of town by itself which is a weird sentence that i never thought i'd really be talking about yeah this is a really like quite lovely push from both sides i mean we're getting some real interpretistic like map art going on here which is something i really miss from sd44 you don't see these crazy lines as often in the sd2 but uh, yeah, her Robert's flank in here is beautiful to see. He already has a good enough territory hold, held up north. If he just gets like an AT gun where the Dragoonies are up north, he'll be pretty much set. And he's got them too. I mean, first Pacherna has six pounders, got 17 pounders coming in B, so there's definitely some opportunities there. Indeed. And he's got uh, one of his turrets uh, running around the back lines here, trying to do some reconnaissance. Gonna get a little bit too close to that Panther Faust, rather. And he definitely didn't see out one coming. Honestly, I was or looking at the backtrack and engaging the P-Shrek over here. Um, where did that poor Stuart go down? Oh, in where the Pentagon deer is up north. Oh, okay. Yeah. But yeah, Harry Spider's... Like, that's a very sneaky position to keep that Pentagon deer to try and deter any supply lines heading into that, like, northern town area. So... I don't know, it's just... Like a really weird open on. I think this really goes to show Rise to have made it to the final. Yeah, you know what? It, it harkens back to the L6 rushes. And I miss those. You know, I feel like we need a good L6 rush or an L6 we rush do. equivalent. We really do. I, I'm sad we haven't seen a. or casted a third and Fouchem Jaeger division throughout Oof. this tournament. Oh, my. Oh, damn is getting feisty over here. I'm not Just sure I would deploy consumer. the Stuart. Yeah, I would have to pull the Stuart or the Cromwell against that. I would say, you know what? You want to fight me, you come to me. Dude, he has that Cromwell and Stuart and, like, checkmate with the Puma position, man. Oof, we can go see and checkmated by this other Puma. Yeah. The guy is, like, I mean, of course, with Pandalaire, what really makes or breaks the division in any phase is how the hell you use those three Pumas you get. And, well, Harry Spider is making him do God's work. Jeez, does he play World of Tanks in his free time? Because that's like, that's like the same kind of stuff. You're like, he's doing the, the reversing in and out. He's not staying still. He's giving up any kind of infantry micro for the chance just to take out these vehicles. And I think that's like the absolute right call to do. Yeah, he's... That, that was, like, fantastic play, the Puma. Like, 
he led them into Arch Rap and completely killed him. I mean, that's really hurt her Robert's tank play early on. So this is going to give Harry Spider a good opportunity to really try and exploit this central push. But her Robert's again at plus two point advantage, so he's still doing pretty good. Because that northern blob is bro pretty easy to hold. It certainly does seem to be that way. And actually, one thing I didn't really pay attention to, I think outside of maybe one other Cromwell, every, and that's the Cromwell right there, this is the only tank the Poles are going to get now until B-Phase. Everything yeah. else is dead, which is just crazy to think. Yeah, it seems like, I mean, if Harry Spider engages this correctly, gonna have the tank advantage the rest of A-Phase, which is weird, because you only get three bloody Pumas. But when you use these Pumas like a pro, of course, we're gushing about that, and I, and I just noticed this just now. It's still a 61-39, so we're gushing. Yeah. <laughs> but this is this is truly winning the battle but losing the war here. It really is. It really is. I, I feel like uh, Harry Spider needs to try and regain some territory up north. I mean, he's lost a whole bunch of ground due to those bubbles slowly collapsing. He's really just trying to make something happen in the center. One and he's down. Oh, yeah. I don't feel like he's going to be able to make his central push happen. I feel like Her Roberts is going to have enough through fighting over the hedgerows to turn this push. Oh, Jaguni tossed out of Piat. Misses, but hits the same zip code at least. Yeah. An improvement on Piat accuracy. <laughs> it certainly is. Yeah. But that was always the fatal flaw, I think, for a lot of the first Paterna kind of infantry based material here. Yeah. It's pretty, it's pretty me mediocre infantry, it's just common rail for crypt, so actually a bit worse is unlike with UK infantry, you don't have two SMGs, you only have one. Now in the meantime though, Strokey down to the south can pound it, of course, by that uh, lovely, lovely Gephardt. But the Gephardt just blows through its ammo so quick, so not for nothing, but... He's gonna go Winchester on ammunition and not have killed this infantry squad. Yeah. But yeah, her Robert's doing lovely. I mean, he's been holding a secure plus two this entire time, which is exactly what he needs, because once you get to C phase, that's when Pangelair has come supercharged. I've all the nasty equipment to play with. So, with her Robert keeping his early momentum, just keeps up his plus two, he's gonna have such a huge points lead where Harry Spider just won't be able to come back. It certainly will be unlikely for that, I'll tell you that much. Trying to yeah. get a quick look over here about blitzes and support and stuff like that. Super early support truck possible over here by the Germans, but I'm, I'm actually kind of surprised by that. I would expect them perhaps a little bit later, but I think he's playing um, the vehicle focus later on. Yeah, and I don't think he... Well, he actually has a decent amount of artillery with the Hummel and the Horde half track and Panzer Rifle. Maybe just doesn't intend them to do too much artillery action to observe ammunition. 1944 for the Germans wasn't exactly a logistical dream for them. No, it was not the year of plenty, I can tell you that much. No. Nope. I mean, not that I was there, for sure, but... <laughs> oh, you gave up that impression, Khan. I fought Yuri out on the beaches of Normandy, man in the MG42 bunkers. <laughs> Actually, you caught me. I was there, I was a war correspondent. <laughs> Um, but it is worth mentioning, actually, when we are recording this, it is, in fact, D-Day. So, happy D-Day to you all out there. Yeah. <laughs> From the beaches of Normandy. From the... I know, it's just, it's really fitting for the chronological time recording. It's on a Sunday and comes out on a Thursday. So it certainly uh, does. So, D-Day plus four for you guys. Exactly, at which point the Brits were still stuck outside Carentan. <laughs> not, uh, not Carentan, excuse me, oh my gosh, what, what am I thinking? Uh, again? Khan? Kane? Thank you, Khan. Khan. Or, or in, their case, in their case, couldn't. Um, in the meantime, the 61% has dropped to a 58, but still a plus 2, and we're approaching 900 points here, so nothing to sneeze at as the hurricane starts coming in, and he's definitely rocking that Puma like a hurricane. Yeah, I have forgot the Paul's secret rap in this strafing thing through those bloody hurricanes. Uh, very good early on, especially when you only have to deal with lightly armored vehicles. That's just yes. It's going to be interesting once we hit B phase. We're going to see a lot of pounds of force being brought in. But of course, Poles have fireflies and German 
from round pounder second or player of, yeah so it's gonna be a pretty even like well mostly an even tank fight i mean you do get pound for the tigers of course flare but on this map then it's just not really that useful yeah now the one thing i think i would kind of would have been kind of funny is to give panthers and tigers and you know bears i want to see a broom bar being given to the panther lair i know historically it wouldn't work but now we can have the wizard of oz division you know we need yeah. to see some 21st Panzer play. That's true. That's yeah. true. I don't suspect that's going to be happening too often, though. Nope. Uh, I think it's because I consider a natural good division. Yeah, which and is... And this is only really terrible to bad. <laughs> it's only terrible to bad? Yeah. And sometimes mediocre. Yeah, I guess actual pretty objective. Or subjective. Or just objective, really, overall. Yeah. As long as it's not dejective, at which point that could be pretty uh, pretty sad there. We are seeing a bit of a resumption back to not quite a 50-50, but a 54-46, which is weird because I did not expect the infantry to be able to consolidate the position over here on the Panzer Lair side of things. Yeah, he's just brought in just enough up north, especially just like the Puma in the half trying to gain a bit of territory, because this is a pretty weak area on her Robert's side. He only really has a six-pounder. And rather well, six pounder is getting slacked on by the MG42. I do like how you position the MG42 to be on the right side of the hedgerow so the Universal Carrier can't shoot. Very good micro we have. Hairy spider. I get the feeling that as the Universal Carrier comes around though, this is going to be a rather measly end for said carrier because one, yeah. there's a Puma there, and well, yeah, he's now seen that. That's not a good idea. Let's go back. Let's go really far back. You don't want to be anywhere near that bloody puma. One thing I'm actually really quite impressed by as well is that look at Herr Robert's targeting of artillery. He Ooh. never saw the Opal Blitz. In fact, if you look through there, he might barely see it from the Strokey Squad, and that's it. That is yeah. beautifully placed. That's gonna if if it hits, of course, he will ever move to every last bit of rearming and repairing vehicles here yeah that'd be a pretty big kill because i mean if you if you track a tank he's not moving no is he gonna survive no he's got three kills no. out of it everything that was there has died holy that was such an efficient off map artillery strike i'm i'm honestly quite impressed by that i didn't i don't yeah. think i've ever been that successful about it yeah like yeah yeah it was it was such a Powerful strike here. Like just that supply truck is such a good kill. I mean, if you get a crew kill, any sort of like annoying critical hit, buggered. And especially when you're playing with heavy tanks, if he does decide to do that, it's going to be very easy to uh, annoy a tank as a death. Oh, absolutely. Mildly amusing as well to see this peak run squad jump in, jump out, take out a, a universal carrier, and now just, you know, go back into the garden, just kind of chill for yep. a little bit. Wonder where he is, the post chase you down. Yeah, you know, the post's gonna get into the building and the Panzer Grenadiers aren't gonna be able to do much else, but I believe they did a pretty decent job in that farmstead for the not brief period, oh yeah, for quite a while. Well, exactly. Exactly. I only hope they are not deployed to clear minefields with their hands. Yeah. In the meantime, is that a hurricane I see? Yes it is. We are headed for some nasty weather. And that strafing run was nowhere near as devastating as one might have anticipated. Was it, Again, he was yes, going through a Flak 36, right? He was taking fire from the Flak 36, but still, I mean, yeah. he, he barely fired up any ammunition at him either, so, interesting. Yeah, it was, yeah, pretty pathetic. Yo, Harry Spider's doing pretty good up in North, yo. He's making territory back here. Let's see, bring it back to a 0 0. We do have a Sherman here and a Cromwell, so. I mean, maybe he can get a good Panzerfaust play to knock out one or two of these tanks. There's potential for it, but I don't know that I believe in it. Especially when the Sherman can take out an entire, you know, Flak 36, the single barrage. Yeah, and okay, her Robert realizes he's gonna pull back from potentially getting Panzerfausted from a French hedgerow. Well, he's probably got another tank as well, so I'm surprised he's being so aggressive with just the vehicles. I would have thought he would have brought in maybe some of his strokies, you know, anything like that, really. 
Yeah. But not the case. He, hmm? he really needs infantry up north, and there we go. He, he's getting some. I think he's gonna try and do a, another, like, balls to the rules push up north here once again to regain that territory. Really? Why is that? Because he's bringing four squads, or...? Yeah, just, like, it's a pretty huge commitment of armored forces, or... No, he's gonna be repositioning one of the Cromwells a little bit more down south, probably just try to deal with the army, yeah. And I think that was the thing that was confusing me, too, because he was also deploying two squads to the south, and he has a guy that's just kind of chilling in the backfield here. Doesn't have great line of sight, in fact, he's got a pretty uh, lousy line of sight, but he's got to have seen that P4 coming through. Oh yeah, you see, definitely should be able to see it at least. That's actually a pretty good spot for that stroke key. Too bad he didn't have a recon unit yet, because you could probably get a bit more eyes on, but at least it's given him a bit of a head shot. Hopefully a bit of a head shot, I believe. Yeah, a head shot and what's coming up. Would you say he's getting a head start? <laughs> Indeed he is. Oh, one Cromer went down to a sneaky Panzer Strike play. Really good maneuver so now from Harry Spider. Watching the pack track and the Shrek over here. Pack track goes down. Shrek's gonna get off another barrage here. Yep, takes out one of those scout cars. So Staghound not quite able to keep, you know, uh, running with the big dogs, as it were. Nope. And Sherman taking a rather nice critical hit, but lovely Panzer Shrek play. This is a very good map for using Panzer Shreks. So you got all those hedgerows kicking around. And Shoot a big bloody rocket at Allied tank. So where's my Panzer Buffer, man? I want to see a Panzer Buffer. Same. I'm, I'm not saying that's going to go and completely shred the front lines in favor of Harry Spider, but couldn't hurt. I'll tell you that much. We're, we're saying this not because we don't. We're saying this not because we actually care about its efficiency. We just want to see rockets go off. Oh yeah, that's exactly. really it. There's no Katyushas over here on the western front, I gotta see something. There's no Calliope mm. I'm gonna get from the poles. We need to see a Panzer do a bit of rough and, you know, see what it's worth. Exactly, we gotta see what it's worth, yeah. How yeah. have we never made that joke before? I know, it's been like, almost four years. Rang, you're almost longer than my longest relationship. Oh god. I know, I know. I'd propose, but I'm, I'm sure there'd be something that would be kind of upset at me. Ugh. Probably. But yeah, this Northern push is actually going really well from Harry Spider, forcing back the Trojan here. And if he can keep his Pandagon Deers and open ground engagements, the uh, Polish infantry aren't going to be able to do all that much. And also with their Piat, they can't really do all that much. Yeah, but the, still, the thing is, if. If, if, if. Can't be playing the if game consistently. Yep. And Sherman's going to set up just beyond over here, I think that's to just kind of cover this road. Just a couple of seconds here. And with the Strokies there, just to kind of be eyes on, that's going to be more than enough to keep people uh, quite um, safe. Yeah, it's really going to come down to your Sherman play. I mean, if he can knock out the Panzer IV and the Puma, that will allow her Robert to aggress back up north. And of course, Sherman has stabilizers. So it has a pretty good advantage in this sort of environment. Yeah, well, it's got between the Mardus and the two Brownings on it. I mean, like, that's still got a hefty amount of anti-infantry to spare. Yeah. It's about getting a good angle on those Panzer IV and the Puma. But the Puma play over here, I mean, if you're looking at the Puma, you know, itself, herself, the HE's pretty much out. And I'm not saying the Puma's HE is fantastic in the first place, but the Puma's HE is almost out. You're not really asking for much from it. Yeah, it's just... I mean, it's nice because it has the recon, and it... I mean, also a lot of Polis infantry don't have anti-tank, so... Take some raw to kill stuff, but it's still possible. Oh, Sig Pounder in a lovely position on that road. Uh, knocking out 232, yeah. I was actually watching as the uh, observation Sherman went down. Yeesh. Light vehicles starting to go down one by one here. Yeah, but her Robert's still doing a really good job. It's got, yeah, well, I was about to say plus, plus, plus one, but it's still at a zero, zero. Yeah, but if this P4 goes down, you'll see it change pretty quickly. Yeah. And we're going to be hitting T-Face in just a minute, and Panzer is going to have to make the magic happen. Harry Spider has 
20 minutes to catch up to just over 1200 points, which isn't impossible. It's definitely quite durable with a plus one, but he is really going to need a plus two starting now if he wants to be short of victory. He's not going to get with a six pounder taking out you know, P4 engines like crazy. Yeah. The Shermans are going down a bit for Herr Robert's side, so you got to be careful nonetheless. Yeah. And if this Puma gets killed, that is the nail in the coffin for this northern flank. Yeah, that's in the off map as well. Gonna probably finish off those pants going to it. But I feel like this is probably going to come down to attrition, as Robert doesn't have a whole lot of C phase units, all his infantry to B phase, tanks to B phase. It's a very B phase heavy deck with the poles, while Harry Spider does have all the heavy tanks that he can play still. Oh, not the great idea. He has some infant like pretty good infantry head in the B phase as well. And of course that lovely income, so Oh no, maybe once we get to like the last ten minutes of this match or so, how Robert might be starting to hurt in terms of units to bring up onto the field. Maybe. He's still got a couple people deep in the back lines. Yeah. We also seen a flamethrower half track being brought in, which is one of my favourite units in the game, so Harry Spider better do a good bloody job of Well, that's another one, too. Another guy who never really got his, you know, day oh. in court, so to speak. Uh, it's such a awesome, awesome unit. Just doing drive-bys and burning people to death. Like, what's not to love? I'm going to let that one alone for right now, because I'm pretty sure if I answered it, the, uh, I'd have several alphabet soup agencies coming to my door. <laughs> 17 pounds of the meantime. you already? What's that? They haven't visited you already? Uh, not this, not this season. Oh. Yeah, 17 pounder. I, th I think they called it was, uh, pandemic protocols. Um, <laughs> my phone line clicks an awful lot, though. Uh, Cromwell, in the meantime, might be able to kind of keep the P4, the central position, at bay. I don't know if he's got eyes on No, no, he's got eyes. Oh, he's firing yeah. at the P4 to the south. Oh, but I forgot about this. This is the, the off-map uh, off P4 that actually can do something. Yeah, it also has an extra machine gun, I believe, because it has the, uh, no, 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 the regular Panzer IV has three machine guns. I forgot it's its SD-44, where they count the, uh, command gun. The cupola one? Yeah. Yeah. But in SD-2, they don't do that for the most part, unless it's a, uh, 50 cal. Only thing less than a 50 cal doesn't matter, right? Yeah. And the Cromwell, apparently not able to, you know, have the distance between their shots, Disguise that discretion is a better part of value. Ducks behind the cliffside there. Oh, the forest, excuse me. Cliffside is a little bit further north. Trying to wow. see... We could potentially see another couple of 17 pounders over here. I'm wondering when we're going to see the Firefly. Yeah, he's really going to need it eventually, because these pants force have proved to be a big pain. And Harry Spider, I feel like, has finally managed to figure out her Robert's weak point, being the central southern area, as we're seeing. Her Robert has a lot of his forces built in up north, so this like underbelly in the center is working quite well. For him. He's finally getting that plus one point advantage, but like I said, he's gonna need a plus two. Oh, for sure. And it is continually weird for me. Every single time I see P4s advancing. So I'm so used to P4s kind of coming up, taking a couple shots, and then getting immediately blitzed by some, you know, six-pounder, some rookie six-pounder gunner with uh, his first day on the job. Yeah, I think a 17-pounder will grant your risses in just a few seconds, I believe. Panzer IV does expose itself. He'll well, if hopefully he Harry's... Yeah. If he exposes himself, that's one thing. I mean, that's public indecency. Like, at that point, yeah, he deserves to be punished. <laughs> Indeed, indeed. But hopefully, uh, Harry Spider can wank her his pants more sufficiently. I mean, one of them is going to go down to the 17 pounder. I would say he's not dead yet, but. Yeah. Only a matter I'm really of time. annoyed that the 17 pounder doesn't have an armor penetration value of 17. It's always really bugged me. Well, I think the problem is that it wasn't really like, hey, one pound equals one armor pen. Well, that what it was, you know. So the six pounder should only do six armor penetration, guys. Just saying. What about the pack thirty-eight? Uh, we don't. <laughs> exactly. You go through like five shaman. Oh god, the person the southern town. He's got 
free flamethrower half tracks and he is rushing through. <laughs> oh, this is what I love to see. Yeah, and the steward for some reason says, Ah, oh, Flame, can search the paint. Oh no. He, he hasn't got he hasn't finished his down payment on that shirt. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure when they said Stuart, it wasn't Jeb Stuart they were trying to emulate, guys. You gotta actually be part of the fighting here. Oh, I look, the flamethrower half track, he smells blood. And this is SD44, you can actually do like pretty decent damage to tanks, flamethrowers. Oh, yes. SD suppression. Oh, yeah, yes. And the steward gets forced. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. This is beautiful, Khan. This has made my day. And now there's munitions half, half track below, track below. Oh my gosh, if this gets captured and gets used, all of that hard work oh from that, that all map would be done for nothing. I hope he captures it, because by god, he's really going to need it in case something happens to the tank. Right now, no good. His, his entire push is just stalled. Yeah, 17 pounder coming in really clutch, holding off a lot of those armored vehicles, but the main thing is that Harry Spider has gotten into the southern town at least. He still doesn't have that plus two yo, which he needs, as the central push has been uh, forced back for the time being. Well, my question is, where's the heavy tanks? I don't see a heavy tank yet. More flam yeah. bombs galore, but not no heavy tanks. Like, like I said before, I don't feel like the Tigers or Panthers are really going to help in this map, just because of how close quarters it is. It'd still be kind of decent to have, because it would just annihilate other tanks in 1v1, but it's still a risky investment. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Checking yeah, things out, otherwise. Mm -hmm. Oh no, her Robert Manson to stabilize once again to a 0-0 zero, zero at least, so... He's doing pretty good, all things considering, but... Yeah, like I said before as well... I don't know, the attrition warfare for him is going to be a little bit hard, I believe. He still traded pretty efficiently, and I think he still has some 17-pounders, fireflies up his sleeve. So, we're going to have to see if he can efficiently use him. That would be an excellent question, Eduardo. Indeed, it will be. P Shrek uh, going on a hunt over here, looking for that command. Cromwell. Yeah. He's going to try and conquer it. Oh, but Strotsky on a hold fire. He could probably save his Cromwell here if he just shot. Common knows he's there, though. That's the important part. Yeah. There we go. That's what he needed. But it seems like Harry Spider's going to be rechanging the tactic and going to be pushing up north again. I, I do love seeing how he's not just fixated and pushing one point. He's realized that Southern Purse is, you know been defeated, so he's not going to tunnel vision and try to push another flank. Oh no, the combo's moving somewhat back in. The stars are aligning. Oof. Wow. Oof. Got very lucky there between the pack 40 engaging him and now P-Shrek the second shot. There we go. Very survivable nonetheless. Always very survivable. Oh no, the Cromwell, he's, you know, took like three shots like a champ. Well, man, he's not a light drinker. He's no like... Actually, I can't oh, yeah, say I that. Oh yeah, I thought he was a Puritan. Oh, okay, yeah, well, no, no, that's, those are the dudes from Massachusetts, <laughs> that's different. Um, now, in the meantime, we are getting back to see some more light vehicle play that, that is definitely working over that Polish infantry. And that is one thing that we haven't really talked about too, too much. Is that the Polish infantry, while relatively okay, He's not the first guy I'm reaching into my bag of tricks to pull out. No, I mean, the Strotskys are essentially just your, like, UK rifle troops, essentially. Yeah, actually, I think they're a little bit better because 15 point out to 20 of the goddess rifles, but you do lose out of self gun, which means that uh, you don't have the advantage of GQC compared to Panzer Grenadiers. I believe the lead I'm going to be a little bit faster, but it's not really yet. Terrible. But the Pack 40 doing some decent work, knocking out another Wolverine. Indeed. Yeah. Indeed. But, I know, it's just getting pretty tight here for Harry Spider. There's only 10 minutes left. If her Robert can continue holding like this, even losing by a plus one, should be fine. This is going to be down to Harry. Oh, the Panzerwerfer came out, and I believe it worked. It did worth. 
The rest in the south, Khan. Our, our, our dreams have been answered. Yeah, partially worth. There was a half worth. Yeah. We'll receive some more worth, so... You know, he's not going to be able to refill the worth, so we're going to have to see how worth all it will be at investment. Yeah, I know, I know right now it'll be a little bit, you know, not seem as worth it, but I hope it'll be better. <laughs> Flump has moving to the north, by the way, engaging a lot of, um, I was going to say American troops here, um, but the wrong date for that. Six pounder in the meantime, gonna get roasted and toasted? Yep, roasted and toasted. Jeez, these flam pans are gonna be brutal. I love this. I absolutely love how he's making these flam pans just work so effectively. And that is just going to completely secure the northern side here. And there we go, he's got the plus two. But I feel like it's gonna be a draw at this rate. He's gonna need a plus three if he wants to really secure the victory now. Okay, Verfer is aiming. Shots up down to the south. Southern town, strokey. Uh, so, not not too stellar. Just a couple of rounds. Yeah, finishing off those last two rockets before reload into the second pair. Oh, that flamethrower half track, he's hiding as the uh, armored column comes in. Oh, ambushing of all things. Yo. It's gonna slow down in advance. Oh. And shockingly enough, he held him in there just so that way we get the 190s and uh, the ME 109s in there. And the yeah. people's going to come in and just turn that thing into a charnel house. Here it comes. Holy crap, that was a rough raw sacrifice. <sighs> Holy These crap. Have been absolutely stellar. Yep. Who is that masked man? Burke. We have to check out that name later on because Burke has been here since the word go. Holy crap, that was. I mean, that was. Like, that Northern Puss could have gone really badly for Harry Spider versus Reinforcement, but he completely decimated them with that one-two punch with the Flamethrower. And then the Puma. I mean, he's gonna run into a sack out now, but... Maybe the Puma will be able to kill it. Tracks and wheels destroyed, so that, that's become the heaviest pillbox that... I think the Panzer Lair's got left in that Northern area. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah, this is the momentum starting to really kick off here for Harry Spider. I mean, he's using these uh, fighter planes pretty effectively. To... I believe he did. He kill it. I think he killed it with the fighter plane. He had enough HE damage that count to kill it. I couldn't say for sure. What I can tell you is that there's a Sherman that's still there and is being engaged and trying to engage that Puma. And someday he will kill him. Yeah, there's no anti-tank nearby. No Messerschmitt or. Just annoy him a little bit, and we got that second Firefly being brought in. There's only two in her Robert stack, so he's gonna have to make this one count. But at first, you don't succeed throwing more guys at him. So here we go. Oh, so this is what he was doing. Yep, I like this actually a lot. Uh, so the half track was waiting there just to get that stress, and now he's diving after the Sherman. Problem is, is I don't think the Sherman's gonna stay stressed long enough. Yeah, it's pretty fast in reverse. And geez, that firefly seeking for everybody to kill that puma. There we go. That's how you do it. That's the ticket, pal. There we go. Yeah, Eric had a plus three point advantage, which Harry Spider needs just by bringing in some half tracks into the center to be a pain in the bum. And goddamn, the constant strafing runs this isn't the last thing I would have expected. Pangelaire, but it's it's working. Yeah, it's really strange to see this right now because Pangelaire is not the division that should be able to do this. Yeah, it's not. And the last thing I think about Pangelaire is, oh boy, I'm gonna use the fight to strafe, but here here we are. Here we are, Khan. Pangelaire, by the way, has fired off the last of its rockets. It is shellacking the southern town. Um, not really getting a whole lot of kills here. Indeed, we have one dude who's just kind of... Actually, we have two very shrunken squads of Pegrens. We're going to move in and maybe take out the Strokey. And his back... Oh my gosh. If Harry Spider keeps this plus two, he's on his way to a victory. Yeah, he's going to get his hit does Yeah, he just needs to hold for five minutes. He's going to be pushing heavy down south right now, even though he's going to lose uh, quite a bit of territory up north. 
but that's not going to matter. It's her Robert needs to just he needs to do the bum rush up again up north. I mean, as you can see, past that pack 40, it's really just a panther, well, two panther fours. He's gonna have to get through. So, her Robert's gonna have to make something work and soon. And here's the thing, too. I mean, if he keeps the plus two, it's what? It's 100 points? It's 10%, I think? For the win? Plus yeah, one, I believe it's like 10%. Yeah, so... I think he needs 130 as points over a Robert to take the victory, if I recall. Well, at this point, he's got to hold on basically for another minute, and then he can just go down to plus one and it won't matter. Yeah. Yeah. And I feel like we're just trading down south, sharp north, that's exactly what's going to happen here. So, the 17-pounder being brought in may have some words to say. P4's got a little bit of an FU for, um, sorry, not P4, excuse me, Pack 40's got a little bit of an FU. For the Staghound and the Sherman that are just going to be bedeviling it to the south. Kills the most important target first. Well done. Yeah. And second target. Skadoosh. Jeez. I did not see that ending happening. Yeah, I'm... I'm actually I mean, appalled. I, there's, yeah. there's, there's no heavy tank. No heavy <laughs> tanks. Ha no heavy tanks were harmed in the making of this win. <laughs> He's playing the Panther Technology Division, and he's not taking advantage of the technology, Khan. He's just using standard equipment. Yeah, there, there's a piece of me that's cringing on the inside that says, you were given the flower of German engineering to do yeah. this. Why are you using weeds? But he's he's taken weeds and made something beautiful out of it. Got the supply truck. I haven't even paid attention to the south at this Down point. South, oh, jeez, he, he got he, it. He got yeah, it. Geez. He's got it. He can, he can re-shower out 75 millimeter. Uh, allied ammunition and slap it in his pants of fours. I believe how it works. It's the same caliber. <laughs> well, how about the fact that we have this this crusader who's like, I'm coming, and just like the crusaders of old, he's going. <laughs> so that's uh, kind of what we expect here. Just like the charge crusade. Didn't <laughs> oh, even make it. Man, yet. that's brutal. I know. Um, Holy crap! Plus three the air plate. Like, what the? What's going on, Khan? The hurricanes are getting brought down by focal wolves and. ME-109, so well freaking done there. I did not expect that clip, that ending. No, and Harry Spider, that, that was the third match. He is the victor of the tournament, so big congratulations yeah, for Harry Spider. I mean, what a match to end on. I don't know what the other two matches were, to be fair. I just wanted to cast the finals final, but that yeah, was really good from both sides. Like, phenomenal play. And honestly, the funny thing about this too... That Herr Robert's troops did very, very well for themselves, especially the anti tank guns. Pes 6 pounders got four kills, 17 pounders got four kills. We have a Cromwell that's got four, we have a Sherman that's got five. We got a... Heck, that off map, the uh, Makarski over here, four kills, three of them all on the same barrage. I thought yeah. when that happened that it was over. I don't know. I, I, I look at that, my first thought was. There's no more repairs, there's no more ammunition coming in, but wow. But Burke, on the other hand, what's he got? He's got six kills, four of them are vehicles. But... Temple. Six kills, three of them are vehicles. I mean, just... Uh, Teobald over here. Four kills, all vehicles. Yes, sir, I'm sorry. I keep talking. Go for it. <laughs> the Luba, like, I want to see... Did the Mezus, the plane... Oh, yeah, the Fokker Wolf did kill the Snack Hound. Okay, uh, about the Bartholomew. Bartholomew. Yeah. yeah, so... There you go, but really, like, phenomenal comeback, yeah. I mean, of course, Pandalea's pretty bad 1v1 division, but if you can make crazy things happen in C-phase and just, like, as we saw there in that match, like, Harry Spider was attacking from all angles. He didn't tunnel vision one spot, he'd attack up north a bit, and then he'd attack down south a bit, and he'd attack a center for a bit, and he kept make, forcing her Robert to redeploy his forces up and down all over till Herr Robert just ran out of forces due to attrition. Exactly. Exactly. I mean, if you look at the history, we just, it seesaws constantly back and forth, so there's not really, yeah. like, one particular point when you're like, yes, this is when they lost it. Because, like, Harry Spider in sea phase from 25 to about 28 minutes goes on yeah. a tear of losing a lot. <laughs> yeah. And then we have a tear yeah. the other direction. They're just, jeez. Yeah, but, like, great Absolutely great play from both sides. That's probably one of the best replays we've seen in quite a bit, I would say. Certainly from SD44, absolutely. Yeah. 
So well done to both players. Congratulations on making it to the finals, guys. Uh, unfortunately for Harry Robert over there, Harry Spider was just able to weave this a nice little victory over here at the end of it. So well done. Indeed. But folks, that's going to do it for us today. Um, as always, we will be here with you next week with some more great material. Until then, though, I'm Connell Work. I'm Ringaroo. Take it easy.